Hi, time for some gaming news. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up bro. let's get it over i don't know two million likes bro whatever bro we just throw out like numbers bro thumbs up all right the first news item the npd august numbers have been released and we have some high highs and some low lows Let's start with the lows. Bro, August NPD is at a 20-year low for August game sales. And so 2019 August is the lowest August game selling month in 20 years. That is huge. And <coughs> one, you could probably say, oh, people are buying less games, but... I think a big reason is PlayStation 4, pretty dry right now, bro. They skipped E3. Those state of the plays ain't cutting it, Sony. Sony has been in the dark. And Xbox, they had a good E3. But both of those console manufacturers, their systems are long in the tooth. And <coughs> gamers are waiting for new hardware from those two platforms specifically and so i think that's a big attributing factor to a 20 year low for august npd but here's the high high nintendo's killing it <laughs> nintendo's like okay microsoft sony y'all don't want to re release any consoles voila the switch the nintendo switch is the best selling hardware for August, surprise, surprise, Nintendo's been killing it all year long. 2019, it's their year. It's their year for the taking, and they are taking it. And so, the high in this is that the Switch was the best-selling hardware for um, August. Now, as far as software, interesting numbers. I'm going to do the top 10 selling games for NPD August. Number 10, Astral Chain. Everybody who's played the game said it's a dope game. I passed on it, but it's a dope game. Number 9, Top Clancy Rainbow Six Siege. Number 8, Mortal Kombat. Right now, my favorite fighting game, Mortal Kombat 11. Number 7, Mario Kart 8. Number 6, Super Mario Maker 2. Number 5, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A lot of Switch games. Number 4, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Bro, check out these next two games. Number three is Grand Theft Auto Five, a last-gen game. It's number three. That lets you know how video game sales are. Number two, Minecraft, bro. The number two best-selling game in 2019 is a 10-year-old game. The video game thirst is real, bro. <coughs> and number one, Madden. Madden came, dropped in August. Madden crushes it every year in sales. Next month, I'm going to predict it's probably going to be NBA 2K20. Okay? Okay. Just predicting. All right? All right. Next news item. Speaking of records, bro, Gears 5 has toppled the giant on xbox live gears 5 has dethroned fortnite as the most played game on xbox live bro but 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 bro um fortnite has been the king for months and months and months and it finally took gears which i hear is a i got gears i'm gonna be playing gears tonight i'm gonna be live streaming tonight 
on my YouTube channel, bro. I'll be streaming on Twitch and make sure tonight we're going to be on YouTube, bro. So around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or probably a little earlier, come through. Your boy will be live streaming. Boy, we're going to be playing Gears and NBA 2K. 2K. We playing 2K. All right. So Gears 5 has the throne Fortnite, which is pretty big. I'm hearing great things about the game. Some are saying this is the best looking game this console generation. If you have an Xbox One X, have this at 4K, 60 frames per second. Gives us a glimpse of next generation. Segway! Shout out to the homie Bucks. Hey, Bucks is also my running partner in NBA 2K. We racking up the wins, boy. But Bucks had DM'd me this link off. Phil Spencer has said on a live stream that he's played the first Xbox Scarlet games this week. He's already played the games. Ah! Now, the new Xbox is probably going to be a day one. But I'm going to still wait and see what Sony announced with the PlayStation 5, Xbox. See what they announce. <coughs> but I'm leaning more towards Xbox. I like their ecosystem. And so... Um, I've always been more of an Xbox dude than a Sony dude. And so, uh, Phil Spencer has said that he started playing the first Xbox Scarlet games this week. Bro, Phil Spencer. E3, or whenever y'all present the first batch of games for the Scarlet. Two games I want to see. One, I definitely, we better see the next Fable game. Fable is my favorite Xbox exclusive. We skipped this whole generation of no Fable game. Blasphemy, bro. A new Fable game. And number two, this is more of a long shot. Banjo-Kazooie, bro. Banjo's in Smash, bro. We need a full-fledged 3D platforming Banjo game. Come on, Philly boy. Next news item. The Game Awards. We have a official date for the 2019 Game Awards. And the date is, drum roll, December 12th. <coughs> December 12th will be the date for the Video Game Awards. Video Game Awards have been lit the last two or three years. And so this is the um, time where gamers come together, just celebrate gaming and... We all tune in for those world exclusives, first time reveals. Keeley has been delivering. I met Jeff Keeley when I went to E3. And so they have been delivering with the, um, uh, the, the uh, world exclusives. I will be live streaming the Game Awards. So make sure you come hang out with your boy December 12th. Put your notifications on. Make sure you're subscribed. All that YouTube stuff. You know. Next news item. Bro. Dudes are already getting switch lights. That's right. Um, one store in particular, Walmart. There was one Walmart on Twitter that broke the street date and started selling switch lights early. Dudes are posting pictures, showing receipts. Crazy. The switch light doesn't come out until next week. Um, November. Um, November. <laughs> September twentieth next week. But. Dude's got it early. Go pick up your switch light. Now, I say this. I originally was going to get it, but after I bought the Revive Switch, it's just an inferior product in every way to this new Switch model. This new Switch model has a better battery life, and that's the biggest thing. And it's still a portable system, so um, I'm probably going to pass on the switch light. But um, shout out to the homie L, one of the um, members. Make sure you're a member of the OGC. He did win a switch light, which will be coming in the mail to one of the members of that fire gaming community and next news item and thumb is now in the bargain bin pro you ever walked into gamestop and you have the nice displays of all the new games and you go about 10 feet down into the store in the center section there's a garbage bin of just old games two dollar games three dollar games bro Anthem is now in EA Access. Seven months after launch, you can now play Anthem for free <coughs> with an EA Access subscription. This has been the most slept on game, bro. 
it has its flaws. I'm not going to excuse that. But Anthem is a real good game. Frustrating at times, but it's a dope the gameplay. Just a dope game, man. But EA, leave it to EA to find a way to botch a perfectly good game. And the last news item, I got to remind you dudes, if you have a PlayStation 4 and you pre-ordered um, Modern Warfare, the beta is available now, the 12th and the 13th only. And then, no, and then there's an open beta on the PlayStation 4, the 13th and the 14th. Xbox dudes, we got to wait until next week. If you pre-ordered the game on your Xbox, you get to play the open beta with the PlayStation 4 dudes on the 19th and the 20th of next week. And open beta is for everyone, every system, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox, the 21st to the 23rd. I'm excited for this game because this is the first time Call of Duty is going full crossplay with Xbox and PlayStation 4. Lit dudes. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this news item? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date on things. Nintendo, we out, bro. All right, we out.